much as I thought I could plan a podcast, that is not going to happen. I do not have the mindset to sit here. Chop up, block, block. How I'm going to tell you about weight loss and weight gain. Hi, good morning on this uh, Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. The time is uh, 12.05 a.m. And welcome to Early in the A.M. with Isha. Good, good, good early, early, early morning to you. What? I uh, have to consider TV watching and salad eating and Jamaican beef patties and ice cream and hot chocolate. After all these things, I actually sat... I was watching an interview between uh, the late, great Larry King and Cat Williams. And I was thinking, right, by walking back and forth between the kitchen and my mom's room that I want to talk about uh, mental maturity today. Mental maturity. Because I've noticed, like, I have a lot of young thinking about me. Like, a lot of mental uh, immaturity that I have a lot of growing to do there. But I, in analyzing why I may feel this way, I've, especially the last, the second half of my life, I had to make a lot of decisions where I forcefully went against what I was feeling and what I was thinking. Like within, I, I wanted to live my spirit. I wanted to break free. I wanted to age in a certain uh, demographic. And my body said, no, we have to go to work. Uh, We have to earn a living. We have to suffer this nine to five against everything that our artistry is. And in dumbing it down, my spirit wouldn't snuff out. It just stayed with me. It just didn't move, but it kept burning and burning. It kept stifling and stifling and, and it grabbed any energy it can to stay alive. And a lot of that energy was very unhealthy, but it took it anyway. Like it stored up on anxiety and stress and depression and and all these negative energies just say okay you don't you won't you know nurture me you won't grow me I'm gonna be in this depressed state you're gonna overburden me with all this uh obedience in this off abusive sector okay I'm gonna be I'm gonna uh, also add anxiety into it You want to keep me where I'm always outed and I'm always being tested. My emotions are always being tested. Okay, I'm going to be stressed. So finally, I'm not at that job and and I've been unemployed for two years. And all these things are just slowly unpacking. All this energy keeps unpacking itself and and unpacking, unpacking. After like almost 12 years of this, it's, it's falling out of these pockets within like these spiritual pockets and my brain just comes out with it and it's really immature the things that I fantasize about the the things I want to do they don't line up with my discipline they don't line up what's expected of me from the people I borrowed from like it's like a it's almost like being on the planet like this is a payment plan for a higher plan like I'm making like these type of deals with people who are with me where I am. But in that payment plan, they're looking for a certain maturity from a a certain person of a person of my age and and how they're supposed to behave. And it's not coming out. The conversations, the characteristics, the belonging, the mannerisms, the respect, all that stuff, it it comes out in my silence and my obedience to do what I do every day. But it doesn't come out in conversation. It doesn't come out in my body language. Like when I stop and talk to you, it's... I'm, I always have to take a stance and guard the way I truly feel, or I, I just don't speak at all. And I know that's more of a coping mechanism, but a coping mechanism and an artist, they don't go hand in hand. It's that dichotomy that a lot of artists have where you can be free to do one thing, but then you're you're in trying to be conservative or trying to protect yourself from negative energy that you can't afford you you'll dichotomize your your artistry you'll 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 break it somewhere or you'll suffocate it somewhere so it it makes it seem like you're more in control that's what i'm going through now like especially when it comes to not all men 
I don't know what it is. It's certain men who 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 fit my personalities more than others. But I was listening today. I was um I was uh where was that? I was in a car with my mom. We was coming from Home Depot. And I was repeating the intro to one of my podcasts from Perfectly Broken that I did let's say about a couple, like a month ago. And it was called the Fluffy Bed Intro. And I kept saying, fluffy, fluffy bed. And I kept repeating it over and over in my head. And my mom just happened to be turning the radio station. And I was looking for comfortability there. Because in these, in, this, in these moments when I create these entries, uh, I'm, in, I'm on the inside. I'm in my internal belly when I'm with this. So I'm looking for something that I can snuggle up against almost a comfort. And she put on Erica Badu. And I love Erica Badu, but not when I'm inside my person like that. Like when I'm bouncing on my outside energy, that soulful neo soul, I'm there. But when I'm truly in my essence and I'm in myself, I'm so alternative. I'm alternative to my soul. And I and I don't and I didn't recognize that I was split in such a way. Like if Neil Soul and Alternative came together and had a I had like a seal baby or something like that. So I was listening to it and we were cl- like the sounds and the comfortability was clashing a little bit. I was like, why am I clashing with Erica? I freaking love Erica. And it's not Erica, it's, uh, and as soon as, like, my mom, like, she was listening to that, she just happened at the same time, we, I was listening to her for maybe a couple of seconds, and then she turns the station, and this song by, uh, Fine Young Cannibals comes on, and it's called, uh, She Drives Me Crazy, and immediately, immediately, the agree, it was, it was an instant agreement. Like the fluffy, fluffy bed, and then she drives me crazy, coo, coo, like no one else. And in my head, I could say fluffy, fluffy bed, and then it. I can tell when my spirit agrees with something, because as soon as it agrees, I start mental pictures comes right. It turns from an agreement to all of a sudden pictures. And demographics and map areas and areas where such a memory will take place. All these pictures just start forming and flowing by in my brain. Like I was sitting here in fluffy, fluffy drives me crazy. There was no bounce. There was no. Uh, there was no stress. There was no disagree. It agreed so perfectly, and uh, this. Um, of course, the scenery pops up, and I'm like, oh my god, I know what it is. I know what my mental maturity is. I know what my mental music demographic is. And I know when I'm going outward, my what my spiritual racial demographic my, uh, music turned to is. I didn't realize I had a racial music. I think a lot of us don't see it that way. Like, what is your racial music? Like, when, when your music gets to your skin. Because what, I mean, as crazy as this sounds, uh, racism is a... It's a, uh, what is it? It's a matter of skin. So if my skin has a demographic, it has a life, even though it's just attached to my body. But since white people gave their skin such an entitlement, such a power over everything, we now have to give our skin just to follow Lee, just to, 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 you know, counteract or be in the same place. What is my skin demographic? What is my skin? What does my racial skin go to? And I think when it comes to my racial skin, I'm more of a neo soul than anything else. But on the, on the flip side, when I'm inside my internal, my, my weird, I'm a weird, introverted, alternative moo cow. I want to say that or maybe something of that, dem- something in that place, but alternative hip hop. I want to say, yeah, like like an alternative hip hop, definitely, definitely, yeah. So I think I'm figuring this out. I think I know what I agree with. When my fear has to settle in my gut, there's only certain kinds of music that can bounce on top and not disturb that hysteria that's going on down there. I mean, as much as it's fun to go in there and scare people half to death. It's also just as fun to see what makes it comfortable. Because when somebody's running around, screaming with their head cut off, scared of everything, the devil in you is like, <laughs> scared, be scared, oh my God, you know what I mean? And then the evil part of you 
the evil is like, I want to know what it's like when this thing is at peace. Because you're just, the evil in you is like, I want to see this thing at peace. Like, like laying on me in total peace, just like snoring and I'm just rubbing its ears. I want to know what sound I can make that doesn't disturb this peace. And the only thing that agrees with me when that fear is that total comfort is alternative music. Especially like black people in the alternative set. They drive me crazy. One of my favorite hip hop groups of all time was PM Dawn. And they're like that alternative hip hop. It, they used to, oh, I, I, don't, I don't say anything else about it. That's, I'm sure there's plenty more I got to find more about. But it's like that. So I'm like, okay. I was like, I understand how it is to be scared and to be running around. Like in the Spam and Diamond uh, episode, what I'm talking about, when you drop the Spam out, every you know, what's going on in that grain. Like everybody's running, like what's going on on the bottom. But I'm trying to figure out. I want to know if you can sit on the bottom with me and trust me enough to be that comfortable. That's what sparks my evil. If you can come sit with me and know it's the most dangerous thing in the world, knowing that anything can pop off at any moment or it could cost you the rest of your life, not that hanging with me would do such a thing, but if it was the most dangerous thing and you stepped out on that last nerve and then you trusted me enough to fall asleep in my arms and and trust that you're protected by me, you will ignite my evil. And the first thing I will look for is the sound that I can play around you that doesn't disturb your sleep. And for me, it would be alternative, alternative music. I'll turn on that fine young cannibal, she drive me crazy, or maybe seal, human being, or maybe a PM Dawn, just uh, the n- damage of the 96, anything like that. And I know, I know in that moment we will reach our completion, but it's just taking the steps there that's crazy. And now my spirit is that mature all day, but in my mind, my mental mind, uh, nah, nah. I mean, I can play the game and I'm more like a kid at heart. And because I'm I'm like a kid at heart, that's kind of testy. But the thing is, I will forcefully go against what I think if I have to get the job done. You don't know nine times out of ten. It's torture with me all day because I got to go out and I got to clean. I got to do work. I got to do grown up stuff. And like my mind was like, no, I want to play. I want to write raps. I want to lay in bed and think about boys. I'm like, uh, I'm about to turn that switch off. And she's the thing is, she's the loudest thing about me. So people, you know, if if me thinking, if you can hear my thinking out loud, you're like, she is a stupid da 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 da. And then my body is like, you ready to do what we gotta do? I'm like, all right, let's go. And it's a total different ball game, all freaking day. It's like a live wire I don't touch. And that live wire is my energy source. I just don't touch it. It's my energy source. If her bouncing off the wires all day, dreaming about rap or the eternity or the earth being her best friend, whatever it is, whatever is going on, if she thinks her, the earth and Jupiter are on the phone causing tornadoes in the Midwest, whatever it is, it's like a live wire bouncing back and forth. And my older body, my more... A scarred body, the one that's been through the real chest in life is just underneath it. Like, you know, I don't need all this energy, but I'm go- I'm going to use it at some point. Especially when I'm in public. I be drowning in that energy because I be trying to rush to get things done. I'm not trying to waste time. I'm not trying to sit and stare at two tea boxes wondering which one is the best tea. I'm like, I know I drink green tea. Which one is on sale? Boop, got that. Everything runs forward. I'm on a timeline. 15, 10 to 15 minutes in and out. And then I spend the rest of my day wasting time. I'm going to lay in my room and waste time. I'm going to watch, play my uh, Game of Thrones casino on Facebook and waste time. I'm going to watch TV with my mom and waste time. I'm going to cook clean and put uh, dishes away, wash clothes, clean bathrooms and bedrooms and, and that thing. That sort of thing. Taking out trash. You know, those things. Yeah, but evil and devil, that's a thing I came up with. That's the thing I came up with. Because the thing is, I put my heaven and I put a very supreme thing in a very dangerous place. And I think that makes me not, I won't call it evil. 
but I call it Ava. My initials 